Rachel is the star of Rachel's Holiday and Rachel is the middle sister and she's the one um, who had maybe the most kind of dramatic recovery arc uh, of all the sisters in that um, things kind of went a bit weird for her in New York um, without giving too much away and she ended up um, going into rehab in Ireland utterly convinced that there was nothing wrong with her and uh, while she was in the cloisters she um, you know she learned an awful lot about herself and uh, so um, so yeah she changed an awful lot so her five kind of marked um, words to describe her would be um, well she's very large feet um, she's clean she's sober she's rowdy even though she's clean and sober and she's good fun even though she's clean and sober she's very worried that people might think that she was a bit of a smoke killjoy you know and um, what she'd like on her gravestone would be um, clean and sober but didn't go on about it and um, what else can I tell you about her her guiltiest pleasure is sniffing ma magic markers um, or, or any kind of petroleum based thing you know because she's not allowed to have the drink and the drugs anymore and also um, the only vice that's really left to her is sex so uh, she does a fair amount of this so this is her bag um, this is her favorite color turquoise blue um, because it's a very spiritual color and also because it's the color of Tiffany uh, it's nothing to do with the spiritual thing at all you know and uh, she just loves the whole Tiffany thing you see 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 it's actually this yoke I stole it off her for a little while and uh, what else have we in her bag um, we have the codependence guide to the 12 steps because she's a therapist now and she works with them um, that sort of thing um, then we also have a hedonist's guide to Beirut because she still, you know, still likes to enjoy herself. Um, oh yeah, right. These are not the actual shoes, but she was wearing these at a very pivotal time in her life. Um, you see, and because she has the very, very large feet, she needs shoes that have holes so that her toes can come out to about here and that her heels can come out to about here so these types slides are very handy it's far far more difficult in winter for her right she has insomnia um, so she has this lovely a soothing pillow mist um, that you spray on your pillow to help you go to sleep doesn't work she'd love the drugs can't have them it's a shame um, nail varnish in her color um, oh yes 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 Led Zeppelin's Houses of the Holy. Now, for any of you who may have read Rachel's Holiday, you will know that um, Rachel has sent, spent some sexy time with a man called Luke Costello. And Luke Costello says that this was the last good LP album that was ever made. Um, very important in her life. Um, sexy gloves. Her favorite smell is leather. Again, uh, for any of you who have read the book, you will know that she has sexy dealings with a man who wears sexy leather. That's why she wears them. Um, they're at it non-stop. Um, what else? Oh, lucky horseshoe. You see, she's very superstitious. Um, also, she's very sensitive to noise. So she brings these yokes, earplugs, with her everywhere. Like she can't bear it like on trains or buses or anything. Because, you know, our long journeys, when everybody else gets scuttered and they can zone out, she can't, so she puts these in. Um, right, now, this is a pair of knickers, or a thong, or a slicer, as Mammy Walsh likes to call them. And this caused an awful lot of trouble. Um, Mammy Walsh didn't know what a slicer was. Um, until Rachel came home from New York and Mammy Walsh washed them and then Mammy Walsh was putting them on the, the radiator to air. Mammy Walsh was thinking, I've done something terrible to Rachel's knickers. Look, the back is absolutely tiny. And the front, the front is all gone. And uh, she was really upset and she was apologising and everything. And then Rachel explained to her uh, the whole concept of, of tongs and slicers. And it took Mammy Walsh a long time to understand it. But then when she did understand it, she was disgusted. So anyway, that's Rachel. Rachel's life through her bag. Anything else? Oh, yes, yeah, stones, crystals. Do you know any of that old hocus-pocusy crap? She's mad for it. That's Rachel.